It's been a privilege to speak at the European Central Bank and the John Monet Lecture uh, t the, today. Um, I talked about the fact that international assistance uh, for developing countries has often been a force for centralization of, uh, of, of those countries because uh, the foreign aid becomes a resource that's, that's controlled and allocated by, by the national government and changes the balance of power between national and local authorities. Local democracy is important. Um, we talked at length, the real subject was, the, was plans for post-war reconstruction assistance to Ukraine. Ukraine is now involved in a terrible war for defense of its, its sovereignty and its democratic system. Uh, I argued that a large part of the success of, of Ukraine's growing democracy in, in, in serving its people has been based on recent reforms that created, for the first time in the history of that country, a system of democratically elected local governments that had a good, reliable basis of revenue on what, that they could spend to provide public goods and services for their people. And, and, and it, it was a reform that happened after the Maidan Revolution in 2014. From 2015 to 2022 to 2020, these, these local governments were set up. At what, before the Russians invaded uh, their, in their full-scale invasion in February of 2022, these local governments were, were spending about a quarter of, uh, of the public revenue in Ukraine. And, and there are many signs that although this was a new system, it was working for the Ukrainian people. When the Russians invaded, the Ukrainian people showed a, a heroism and a determination in defending their country. And, and a, an important part of that turned out to be that this decentralization far from weakening the country, actually strengthened it because it meant that in every community of Ukraine, there were elected local leaders who were, were elected because they had the trust of a large part of their many of their neighbors who turned out to vote for them, but they also being empowered by the, 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 the national political system of Ukraine, they were people who now had an official vested interest in defending it, and they organized, helped to organize, the, 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 gave, gave the people of Ukraine the organization they needed to, to resist at the local and, and level, and that has made a difference and has been a, a part of the heroic story of this, of this war. Um, so knowing that foreign assistance will be needed to help rebuild Ukraine after this terrible war, um, and knowing that foreign assistance is often a force for centralization creates a, a, a difficult problem. That we'll, at a technical conference like at the, the, the European Central Bank's annual research conference was worth discussing. And I talked about the number one thing is, is that the European Union's aid facility should be structured in consultation with the mayors of Ukraine who have, a national, who have national associations and could be easily contacted. Uh, I have urged, and I think they will, I hope that they will reinforce that when they're consulted, that the European Union should open an office in every, every region of Ukraine to work with the mayors and their local town councils in helping them to develop proposals for, um, uh, uh, for, for funding from the European Union in reconstructing Ukraine and rebuilding it as a country that can serve its people and, and, pro, and, and build prosperity in, in the years to come after the war. Um, I've urged that the, the European Union aid facility should plan on setting aside a similar fraction, the, the one quarter of the revenue was, had been spent, then maybe one quarter of foreign aid should be designated for grants uh, uh, to local municipalities to help them rebuild according to the priorities that they determine, uh, not foreigners and not necessarily the national government. The national government will need a lot of assistance too. And the, the, the most important, the largest fraction will be to help the national government of Ukraine. But some fraction of it should also go to local authorities. And, uh, and, and in that, I think the, the, it can be a plan for a new kind of foreign assistance that, that, uh, that, that will not only help Ukraine, but perhaps be a model for other countries in the world of, 
a foreign assistance that doesn't just strengthen the national government but also supports democratically lo elected local governments and helps to make Ukraine a model for, for, uh, a w for the world. But the most important thing is, is, is uh, for a country that has, whose people have sacrificed so much in the last 20 months of war uh, to defend their independence, uh, foreign assistance should help them to have the kind of prosperous Ukraine that they have been dreaming of and I think will, can realize uh, with, with the help of, of, of generous donors in the United States and the European Union and elsewhere in the world. Thank you.